We begin here at five with that rescue on the Hudson where a boat capsized this afternoon. Happened around three o'clock right near Pier 84 off of 44th Street. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor was one of the first reporters on scene. Let's get straight out to her on the west side at the ferry terminal. Alice. We're here at Pier 78. This is where they brought the people who were rescued from the water today. Take a look. This is the ferry terminal. There are New York Waterway ferries in the background. There are a lot of first responders on scene. We are currently awaiting a press conference at this time. You know, we just saw about nine people in bathing suits and towels escorted away by first responders here. This all happened around 3 o'clock. Marine and land units responded to the Hudson River at West 46th Street and Pier 84. Two people, were told, were taken out of the water by NYPD and FDN scuba divers. Two New York waterway ferries also assisted in that rescue. The total patient count, we're told, is at 12. One was taken to Roosevelt Hospital in critical condition, another to Lenox Hill in critical condition. We're told there was one serious, non-life-threatening injury. That person was still here on scene. Nine people had minor injuries, and they refused medical attention. Those may be the people we saw being escorted away earlier. A lot of people seem to be in shock. The water temperature, we're told, is in the low 70s. Now, it was high tide at the time of the capsize here. And generally, as we know in the Hudson River, the current can be pretty strong. Winds were gusting, according to meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch, at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. And there was a small craft advisory in effect here. Now, we are awaiting a press conference by Mayor Eric Adams. We saw him here a short time ago. He told me he was trying to get some more information before he gave an update to to the public here. The NYPD commissioner is also here as well. I went over to one man who was sitting on the ground. He was still wet from the water. He did not want to speak to anyone. He was just sitting there seemingly again in shock. Now, we don't yet know what kind of vessel this was in the water or where exactly it originated from. We are hoping to get some more information when that press conference begins. Again, the mayor is here. The NYPD commissioner is here as well. We have all kinds of first responders. So as soon as we get some more information and that press conference begins, we will, of course, bring that to you live. Maurice and Chris Christine. Thank you. All right, let's go to the phone right now. Joining us live is Henry Caden, who saw the whole thing unfolding from his home in Union City in New Jersey on the other side of the Hudson. Henry, are you there? Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Tell us how this all went down. What did you see first? Well, I, I was at my home and I just happened to see the ferries um, rushing to an odd area. It wasn't in the regular um, course that traveled. And when I got up, I saw a bunch of people in the water so i ran to my camera and uh i videotaped and took some pictures people in the water did you see the boat itself and was yeah, it yes, flipped I over saw, what, what, did, what was the situation I saw the hull. they were hanging onto the hull the ferries were there the police just pulled up there was some guy with a uh, jet ski uh, going around the scene and they were clinging to the boat and um you know, the ferries were trying to pull them in. I saw one young lady hanging from, uh, I guess it's a rescue ladder, uh, and she didn't seem to have the strength to even get up. It was, it was pretty scary. Henry, just from your view, did it seem like it was a pretty busy day on the Hudson, and um, were there a lot of boats this size that were, that were out there? No, actually, actually it was fairly quiet today, um, and, and uh, it seemed like a lot of people on, a, on that boat. Um, so, you know, I was shocked when I saw them, especially when they were at the, the back end of the, I guess that's the uh, aft, hanging with the life preservers and that. It was pretty frightening. As we look I at those... Realize that, I didn't realize they were hurt that bad. Right. As we look at those pictures, Henry, it makes your heart race. It's, it's a heart-pounding kind of moment. What's going through your mind as you have the presence of mind to film this and videotape it? Well, you know, uh, my wife got to see the miracle on the Hudson, and we didn't have a camera at the time. So uh, since then, I have a camera all set up because there's so much going on at times. But when I saw this, I, I didn't realize what I actually captured, you know, because I, I was busy videotaping it. And I never realized, you know, how scary it is for those poor people out there in the river. Henry, as we look at this here, the video, I'm not sure if you can see it on your TV as you're talking to us, but we can see um, it appears that some of the passengers had life jackets, but others did not. It, it, do you remember seeing if um, any of them um, or all of them had life jackets at one point? Well, I believe that that came from the ferries. I think the ferry crews were throwing the life jackets to them, but the water was really choppy, so I guess they really couldn't get to them. That's why they're floating loose. Well, you had a camera set up. You saw this whole thing. You got it on video. What are your thoughts right now, Henry? Uh, 
Well, I'm just hoping everybody's okay. Uh, I didn't realize when I did this that it was going to be such a, a big news event. Uh, I, I just thought it was simply, you know, a boat overturned and they were saving them. I didn't realize uh, how the extent the uh, injuries and stuff. Now it's like now I'm a little shaken up because of it. Well, Henry, I mean, as you know, the New York uh, waterway ferries were also part of the crews that were assisting in this. And I know that you mentioned that your wife uh, witnessed the miracle on the Hudson. And I'm just getting your thoughts here now about these uh, captains on these ferries that go back and forth on the Hudson doing their jobs. And every once in a while, they, you know, are called in to rescue and, and make these incredible um, saves. Yeah, you know, I, I got to say, I'm, I'm a retired police officer, and I worked 9-11, and they were also there for that. Uh, they're amazing. It, I can't imagine how many lives they actually save these ferry guys, and they don't get enough credit. It, it's really, uh, without them, I think those tragedies would have been a whole lot worse, all of them. That's the truth. Well, Henry, we, we thank you for your, your thoughts, sharing a couple moments here with us, and mostly we, sh we thank you for taking that video and uh, for your wife for asking you to set up that camera uh, so, <laughs> so we could have these pictures at least preserve this moment because um, that was really something and uh, we, we appreciate your, your, your insight to this afternoon. Well, Thanks so much. You know, happy wife, happy wife. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Goes. Thank okay, you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate Thank you it. so much. All right, well, the okay. water did appear to be choppy at the time of the rescue. Let's bring in Vanessa right now with some perspective on the weather at that moment, Vanessa. Yeah, well, certainly it's been a breezy day. Winds gusting 25 to 30 miles per hour. As Alice shared with you earlier, there is a small craft advisory in effect until 9 p.m. tonight, and that extends up into the harbor. But we saw the video, and certainly the seas were choppy through the Hudson River as well. Water Water temperature 72 degrees. Now the swells between one to three feet. And of course we worry about the river current. Alice mentioned the high tide was at the point in which we think the boat capsized close to three o'clock actual high tide 228. So with that, while the current wasn't necessarily moving in or out, generally speaking, we know the Hudson River has an incredibly strong current. And so to watch, and I'm sure as they were making that rescue that the boat was drifting as well. So people clinging for their lives because getting caught up in that current can be exceptionally dangerous. Actual water temperatures, thankfully not frigid. Hypothermia would not have necessarily been a concern in this case. Now we talked about the winds. They have been gusty all day long. Winds have been out of the south southwest. 17 miles per hour right now in the city. 23 miles per hour in Babylon. Around the region, a little bit calmer inland, but riding up the Hudson at this direction has a very long fetch. There's nothing to get in the way of those winds. So you can imagine them being even a little stronger if you're on the Hudson River today than the 17 mile per hour wind sustained measured in the park. Without friction, those winds are carried much more quickly. 22 mile per hour gust right now in the city. There's a 31 mile per hour gust in Babylon. So for the duration of tonight, if you're not getting hit by a strong storm, expect it to remain breezy. But these storms here have the potential to produce damaging wind up to 60 miles per hour. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect well north of the city uh, for the next hour or so here. This storm will continue to race east at 40 miles per hour. The one that I think may have a bigger impact here is moving toward Warren County will continue its trek east and again damaging wind downpours and lightning. We're looking at Vernon arrival around 602 and about 7 p.m. in Yonkers. If this storm holds together fully, you'll still be getting hit by that heavy rain and lightning as well as gusty winds. So we'll keep you posted on any severe warning for the area right now. They're just on the fringes. Christina Maurice back to you. OK, Vanessa, thanks so much. All right, we want to get one more live look from Chopper 2 that we have here showing the boat. It was now towed to West 10th Street in Manhattan, as this live picture indicates. You can see if the uh, camera widens there to the left is an NYPD boat right next to it. That's actually the boat that towed the vessel there. We will continue to bring you updates throughout this broadcast. As we said, we have a team of reporters on the scene. They're looking to interview witnesses, witnesses and also officials. Mayor Adams also expected to have a news conference, and we will bring that to you as soon as it happens.